Hello viewers from across this big beautiful blue and green marble that we call the Earth. Welcome to another video on the Matt VidPro AI YouTube channel. It might not come as a surprise to you guys that I actually put a decent amount of effort into audio on this channel. You know, I got this microphone right here. This is the legendary Shure SM7B microphone. This is like a $300 microphone. I've got a preamp that's connected to it that you guys can't see, and I have a little dynamite booster, and it all combines with a little bit of software to give a pretty nice audio presentation, I think, in general. We try a lot of different pop filters, you, you might notice on the channel as well. I try to make the audio real good for you guys, and I invest a lot of money into that as well. However, with the new AI technologies that are coming out these days, obviously, I've, I've covered a lot of them on my channel. There are some audio enhancers that are coming out lately as well. So one day having a big crazy setup like I have to try to get really nice audio quality might not actually be all that important. You could just use AI technology to spruce out a more garbage microphone like I have right here. This actually was my first ever microphone for YouTube ever. This is the CAD U37. It's kind of a garbage microphone, but it's better than something you might find on like a headset like this and it costs about $30 today, and it cost about $30 maybe seven years ago now, six or seven years ago when I first actually bought this microphone, but I kind of started my YouTube channel with it, so it does actually mean a lot to me. But we're gonna see if we can't take the power of AI today to see if we can't make this old microphone sound a lot more like this newer one I have. And by the way, guys, when I say this microphone is new, I mean that I purchased it new. This microphone actually existed in like the 70s. A shocking random fact about this microphone, Michael Jackson's bad was recorded on a Shure SM7B. Super weird, analog microphones have been around for a long time. USB microphones, not so much. Let's do a little baseline audio test for you guys. Okay, you're listening to the Shure SM7B, my typical microphone setup, what I usually use to record videos. And now I am switching over to the CAD U37. This is the $30 USB microphone, and I've got a pop filter in front of it and not much else to help out with the audio quality here. So let's get into what we're gonna use to potentially make this sound a little bit better. Okay, folks, so we're gonna switch back to the Shure SM7B while I kind of talk about the programs we're gonna use today to enhance this microphone quality. And honestly, guys, I think you can kind of think of this video like a tutorial in a lot of ways. I mean, honestly, if this was the only microphone setup that I had, this is probably what I would do. Back on the good mic here. So this is going to be the star of our show today. This is Adobe Podcast Beta, which isn't really out yet. The full Adobe Podcast application isn't even open to the public. It's like in a waitlist form. I sign up for the waitlist, but I don't have access to that full podcast app yet, but we can try the remove noise from voice recordings with speech enhancement test in the Adobe beta website. So you guys can try this for free as well. I'll link it down below. Once Adobe podcast is fully released, you'll be able to use this technology we're experiencing today to enhance microphones on the regular basis. And as you can see, you just can drag and drop audio to see if it's going to be enhanced or fixed. And I think this is going to do most of the heavy lifting for us today. There's also another program that I'm going to talk about today, which is known as VB Audio's Voice Meter. This is a voice enhancement software that a lot of people use, a lot of YouTubers will use. It is a fantastic software. I'm a huge fan personally. I've had some driver issues with it personally in the past, but hopefully it works well for us today. And it is completely free software for you guys to download and use at home. It's not AI based or anything. It's been around for a really long time, but it's definitely going to be useful for enhancing an older microphone like we have today. So I'm just going to go ahead and install voice meter. All right, guys. So now that I've got voice meter installed, I'm not really going to explain the whole process of setting it up, but it is pretty simple. I've got my hardware input here as the garbage microphone over here, the old $30 one, and I've got it set to the VB Audio Virtual Cable Output. And then I use this little thing they have called the IntelliPan here to richen up the voice, make it sound like it's coming from a more professional quality microphone. I'll start with this, not with voice meter, and then switch over to it using voice meter. All right, everyone, so right now you're just listening to the 
lower quality microphone, not using voice meter at all. This is just the raw output from the $30 microphone. All right, everyone. So now you're listening to the lower quality $30 microphone running through voice meter software. Again, this is the completely free software. All I did is a little tweak there on the IntelliPan, as you guys can see. Everyone's voice is going to sound different through a different microphone and is going to need different settings and voice meter to sound proper. This was just a quick little switch that I did to try to liven up the voice and make it sound just a little bit better. And I think it definitely sounds better than just the raw output from the microphone, but you guys might have a different experience with that. But in general, I think it sounds just a little bit more professional, but you can still hear in the background of this microphone, there is a ton of just background noise. It's not super clear. It's a little bit fuzzy. It's just annoying and distracting to listen to and not like the microphone that I normally record and make videos with. So now we switch over to the Adobe podcast microphone enhancer and noise removal software using AI to make this sound like a real professional high quality microphone. And once we do that, we'll compare both of these mics, the $30 microphone running with free AI software and voice meter versus the full high quality setup I normally record with. Alrighty everyone, so I went over and I recorded two quick audio tests. We'll do a little bit more testing as well. But this is the file that I recorded with the microphone I record all my videos with all the time. And then this is the older one with the voice meter setup. And this is what we're going to go ahead and run through Adobe's AI software to see if we can't enhance it and we're going to compare it to this audio test, but let's just take a quick listen to both of them. Hello everyone, I am Matt Vidpro, and this is an audio test. I repeat, this is an audio test. Okay, so that was the quote-unquote good microphone. Hello everyone, I am Matt Vidpro, and this is an audio test. I repeat, this is an audio test. And that was the quote-unquote bad one. Let's go ahead and see if Adobe can't enhance this bad quality microphone. So we're just going to go ahead and drop our audio file into the website here. Again, this is free for you guys to test out and use. This is just like a preview of the Adobe podcast speech enhancement software. They've got a little sample we can even listen to. I'm in a conference room with the window open and it's pretty echoey in here too. Not the best place to record audio. So that, that doesn't sound very great. That's without the enhancement. Let's turn their enhancement on. Yet yeah, with enhanced speech all of the background noise and echo is gone, as if I recorded this in a professional studio. It sounds pretty good, I gotta say, I gotta say. Let's go ahead and preview ours again without the speech enhancement and then we'll apply it. Hello everyone, I am at VidPro and this is an audio test. I repeat, this is an audio test. Okay, speech enhancement on. Hello everyone, I am at VidPro and this is an audio test. I repeat, this is an audio test. Wow, okay, that sounds pretty good. The noise is completely gone. There's literally no noise at all in that sound file. Really, really good. I gotta say, the, definitely the best part of this is the noise removal. One thing that I am picking up with, and again, I'm listening to this with headphones. You guys might not be using headphones at home, but I, I don't think it's picking up as much of the higher end notes in my voice. So this would be like the stuff that's like really uh, high pitched sounds, like little clicks and clacks. So it's trying to remove those, and a lot of audio engineers, I do believe, like to remove those, but it really depends on what your voice sounds like and your personal preferences, so I like to keep a little bit more of those higher-end sounds in, and it's definitely trying to cut off a lot of those at the top, but it sounds really good, and the noise removal is definitely the most important piece of this. Let's try a longer audio clip. I'm going to get real nice and close this time to the microphone. Hello everyone, I am Matt Video Productions and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be testing out this microphone quality. We're trying to produce the best sounding microphone quality for the lowest price physically possible. So this microphone you're listening to is only $30. Yep, that's right, $30 and it's been $30 for like the past seven years. So can this really, really entry-level little USB low-quality microphone that's really only supposed to be used for maybe gaming with your friends or something like that. Can we turn that into an almost professional sound and quality microphone using the power of Adobe's new podcast AI software? You guys be the judge in the comments below and please comment below and let me know. And also if you make any cool audio recordings with this software, again it's free with the download link in the description, please, please send it to me in my discord the discord is linked down in the description below so yeah that was uh that was a lot closer and a lot louder 
So one thing I'm noticing in this audio clip is I was a lot closer to the microphone, so there's more plosives coming through. So this would be like when the audio clips when I go puh, puh, puh. And that's why we have these shields and stuff on the, the microphones is to prevent that from happening. Let's see if Adobe's podcast software can deal with those plosive sounds. And I'm also hoping that with this closer up recording of the microphone, that the Adobe podcast beta AI software is going to keep a little bit of those high end sounds a little bit more clearer in the, the recording because you can hear them better. And it is really a bold claim by the Adobe podcast AI software speech enhancement that makes voice recordings sound as if they were recorded in a professional studio. That's definitely a, a big undertaking there. It's not easy to get professional sounding audio. I've spent years trying to hone in my skills here to make the audio sound good for you guys, and it still doesn't sound like it was recorded in a studio, in my opinion. Alright folks, so now our audio has been enhanced. We'll listen to it for just a little bit without the enhancement to get a refresher, and then we're going to listen to the full clip enhanced. Hello everyone, I am Matt Video Productions and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be testing out this microphone quality. Honestly, it doesn't really sound too bad, but let's listen to it enhanced. We're trying to produce the best sounding microphone quality for the lowest price physically possible, so this microphone you're listening to is only $30. Yup, that's right, $30, and it's been $30 for like the past seven years, so can this really, really entry-level little USB low-quality microphone that's really only supposed to be used for maybe gaming with your friends or something like that, can we turn that into an almost professional sounding quality microphone using the power of Adobe's new podcast AI software? You guys be the judge in the comments below, and please comment below and let me know. And also, if you make any cool audio recordings with this software, again, it's free with the download link in the description, please, please send it to me in my Discord. The Discord is linked down in the description below. Wow, okay, so yeah, there's almost no noise in that recording at all. It sounded really, really darn good, I must say. It definitely has more of a studio sound to it, for sure. There's a little bit more bass, it sounds less echoey, and I think overall it does sound better. This software is definitely worth a shot. We'll have to see how Adobe sets up the pricing for their podcast software when it is out of beta and is fully released. And I assume there will be some settings as well to tweak your audio quality and add certain things in. But in general, I think it handled the plosives well. The high end noise was a little bit better when I got closer to the, the microphone. And yeah, I think that you can totally turn a $30 microphone here and this isn't even a great $30 microphone, you can turn this thing into something that sounds very professional, almost sounding directly like this microphone that I use right here. I still think this sounds a little bit better personally. It doesn't sound as processed. I think it retains some better, better qualities to it, but honestly, this is not half bad at all when combined with the power of AI and voice meter. I really think it sounds good, and I would totally use that in a YouTube video, no problem. I don't think anyone would bat an eye at audio quality that sounds like that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Check out the Discord, share your audio recordings and stuff like that, and yeah, be on the lookout for another video soon. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.